Thursday night baseball now from Fenway Park in Boston. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Texas Rangers and the Boston Red Sox. Red Sox baseball is and next. Now, your 2022 Boston Red Sox. Ball four, take the base. Three. So next to hit is Jay Mack. He's entering play in this one, a home run shy of 20 for the season. Now the first pitch. I couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0 and 1. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just 2 and 4 over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves oh, one and three, now. haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. But he'll close fast out there as he puts it away chest high, and the runner will be forced to head back to first. That's one of those tough luck outs that'll drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that. Stepping in once again is Jay Mack. He looked to light a spark oh, no, under this lineup that hasn't that's found the hitter. scoreboard since yeah. back in the first inning. Yeah, yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they face. It's, it's been very that. difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Now the pitch. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Come on, dig. Go hard. Go first two. digging Go for two. two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. You know what, Matty? I don't see it ending anytime soon. I mean, we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups, but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate, and I don't think anybody gets him to lose his toehold right now. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next will be Christian Pache. Here comes the one two. Runner goes for third. Popped up low just to the right of the mound. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Throw back to second. And Next, it'll be Jay Mack. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Hey, let it fly. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close, so I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Now the Red Sox DH, Jay Mack, and he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Here's the first pitch. But Swing just got to try and straighten that one out. Fouled off. You have one job in this situation, especially down 0-2. You have to find a way to advance that runner to third and give your teammate a chance to drive something into the outfield. You cannot not come through in this situation. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right-hander's begun to warm up out there. Now the one and two pitch. Line hard to center field. 
And this is down. And that should do it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. The batter will be Christian Pache. The winning run at second. However, the double play in order here. Ball four, and that will move the winning run over to third base now, just 90 feet away. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Now Riding in for Boston, oh, Kyle Schwarber. And he has a great opportunity to win it here. Winning run at third base, nobody out. The relay back to the pitcher, covering in time to double them up. Next to hit is Xander Bogart. His prior history versus this arm. Small sample, a perfect one for one. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. No change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You can work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. There's ball four. And this is the right move here. With first base open, take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Rafael Devers. A two out hit and win it. Pass baller, wild pitch will do the trick just as well. And it misses ball four. And with that, the winning run will be forced in. What a disaster. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk-off for the win? Wow. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Brent Suter claims the win out of the pen his first. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com.